Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moose production, and today we're going to be playing Squidlet. This is a game that I downloaded for my Nintendo Switch, and it only cost 50 cents. Now, there are other games like this on the Nintendo eShop, which are trying to be like Game Boy games, but this one seemed particularly interesting because you're a squid, and you can move around and you can jump, but the most interesting thing is how you attack. You jump and you shoot out ink. I thought that was interesting. Now, uh, this game does not have a save feature, however, it is very short. So, let's get started. Now, you just have to press up to talk to these people. Hi, Plip! I am the Village Squizzard. Since my Squizzardy magic protects Flipton, I cannot go on adventures. So I have a quest for you. That castle yonder is super spoopy. The last Squidlet we sent as a scout has not returned. You've been chosen to go next. Good luck, Squip. Ever forwards. Okay, that's... I think I read that weird, but that's okay. So you can jump, you can shoot out ink, and shooting out ink also prevents you from falling, so you can kind of hover a little bit. And you can press down and do this, which does absolutely nothing, but makes you look cute, I suppose. I live in the biggest house. That makes me mare. By the way, I like the music for this game. I thought uh, it's pretty good music. What do you mean, why is everything in ugly shades of green? You're weird, Plip. Now, granted this game would be a lot faster if I wasn't reading everybody's text, but hey, this is a let's play. Hiya, Plip. I baked the muffins for your quest. Nosh one and you get hurt to feel better. Here you go. Oh, I almost forgot. Now you'll find lots of muffins. Everywhere. Good luck doing the quest. I think I read that wrong. Oh, uh, yeah. Nosh one when you get hurt. Okay, anyways. So now I have uh, three muffins hit points. Now you have to actually talk to this guy to advance forward so if you don't you're not able to advance to the next part. I live in this hole. Good for you. Doot doot doot. Grown mushrooms. Doot doot doot. Mmm. Oh hi. Mushrooms are super numbers. I dry them for sailing rations. Now there's more people up top, but I'll go back and talk to them. I've got a mushroom on me. Head. <laughs> I've got a mushroom on me head. Anyways, yeah. I read good. Okay, there's these guys playing music. I'll go all the way back here, see if there's anybody to talk to. Yes, this person. I'm so very squishy. It's wonderful to be an introvert. Invertebrate. I can read. Reading is fun. My mother says not to climb trees, but I did it anyway. Don den don den don den don den don den don den bum bum bum. Nerp 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 nerdle nerp 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 nerdle nerp 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 nerdle. I think they're trying to replicate this uh, background music. Pucha 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 pucha. Cha pa cha pa cha. Yeah, pretty much. It's dangerous to venture outside of the squizzard's protection. Did you get your muffins from the baker? I've heard they work like your HP. I don't know what that means though, cause I'm just a squidlet. I be Squizvut, the mightiest of squidlets. The road ahead of ye be long, and there be oblugs out and about. 
ever met one? All you gotta do is jump over it and ink on them. What's that? Why don't I go to the spoopy castle? Who else will drive Ooblug, spell slinger, and pass away from good old Blipstun? Blipstun. Any hoodles? Off with ye. Never had to read all of these texts out loud, so now that I'm saying it, I'm saying it weird and it sounds funny. Now you absolutely do not have to ink these uh, enemies, you can just walk past them. So I'll do that to save a bit of time. But I'll of course ink some of them because then I can get a double jump in kind of thing. Hover jump. Right? There's nothing there, so go left. Take that. Whoops. Now these guys go crazy when you ink them. Of course, because I'm Let's Playing, I'm getting hurt all the time. I was able to rush through this game uh, rather quickly when I was... Uh, trying it out, and uh, I didn't sustain much damage. But muffins are very plentiful in this game, as you can see. So you don't particularly have to worry about your health. And also, um, I believe you have infinite lives. Or continues, one or the other. I'll go up here just to show what it looks like. Looks like. I can talk. Oh, there's somebody up here. I live outside the Squizzard's protection to prove that I am hardcore. And now I can't get back over there. I keep getting hurt. Why? What's up here? Nothing. What's up here? Nothing. What about here? Oh, hello. I tell my daughter not to climb trees. Hey, I saw her before. She was in a tree. need a muffin. Where's a muffin? Give me a muffin. There's a muffin. Oh, well, that was a trap. Is there more muffins back here? No muffins. I'm adventuring to Blipston. I done diddy heard they don't have no squirchant? That's a squidlet merchant. Hello. Egads, don't ink on me. It takes days to wash off. Why are you here? You say you're going to a castle? That's a long way away. Tell you what, my farm has been overrun by shark pillars and unsked nails that's uh, a weird word unsked nails they hate squid like ink so if you could drive them all off I'll give you the old hovercraft I used to get to stuff from town okay so basically you just have to defeat all the uh, enemies and these uh, shark things are funny. They're a land shark. That's what they look like. Whoops, take that. 
Now this part is mandatory. You have to talk to the guy in order to get the quest. You can't just go forward. so very much. The hovercraft is yours. Don't worry about the shark, sharker pillar cocoons. The adults breathe fire and spit acid, so I'll clear them before they emerge. Have fun. And now there's a boss. <laughs> Doesn't have a health gauge. Also, my controller is very clicky. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the microphone. This guy's super easy. Pretty much all the bosses in this game are super easy. On to the castle. Halt! No squidlets allowed in the squid squat. God Emperor's Castle. Um, I don't think it matters what you say, but I'll say, but I'm a squidlet. Arg! Stop making sense. And you got ghosties. But they're just like any other enemy. You can just ink them and they uh, go away. Everybody. Oh, right, these guys can't get hurt by ink, so you have to jump over them. Gee, I hope a squidlet doesn't filch my cell key while I sleep. We should uh, spray for them more often. Oh, right, I don't have to talk to him, I just take a key and open these doors. Never take me alive. And he drops muffins. Cool. You don't have to talk to these guys. You can just go forward. Oh, thank goodness. I promise to never forget to say God Emperor. After a squit squat. God Emperor's name again. This last person you do have to talk to. Thank you for releasing me. I saw Emperor Squit Squat. Brewing a dark magic potion. But I was discovered, and she locked me in here. Please, you must help me. Stop her. I swiped a key from a guard, but it wasn't the one to my cell. Maybe it will open the gate over there. Yep, it sure did. muffin over there. I will get a muffin eventually. Oh, you have to talk to this person. We need to go to the Royal Library in Castletown. There's a magic book there that contains most knowledge in the Squid Squats Empire. We need it if we want to stop her. I'll meet you there. Uh, cool. I was able to get the muffin and get my health back, but then, of course, immediately I get hurt. Now, you really don't have to do any of this, but I'm just trying to show off as much of the game as I can, because, like I said, 
it is a very short game. You can speed run it in about 20 minutes, maybe 15 if you're going super quick. There's also... Oh wait, I won't spoil that, what I was about to say. I'll wait till it becomes more relevant. So stay tuned. Why that enemy is up there, I don't know. Totally ineffective. Assemble the guards. Awaken the ancestral golem. We have orders from the god emperor. Not one squid that passes. Bit low on muffins, I must say. Muffin. Now this boss here is very easy. Just let it walk and when it opens the thing on the top, you jump over it and ink. And done. Now I don't get a health refill. Oh, hello. You're the squidlet that rescued me from the dungeon. Thanks a bundle. As long as you're here, can I tell you about my garbage theory? Um, sure. Great garbage theory states that we live in an advanced civilization's garbage universe. Nifty, huh? Now, what if I answer the other thing? No, come back, number nuts. That's what he says. Hey there, my name's... What? Perithian. I develop squid repellent. I'll give you muffins if you let me test my latest formulas on you. I'll say stranger danger. Oh, come on, it's non-toxic. I swear. Okay, I'll talk to you because I want muffins. Great, this one's made of peppermint and orange marmalade. Here it goes. Oh boy, that's some good stuff. Come back and get your muffin. So I'll talk to him again. Okay, next up is vanilla ice cream and horseradish. Brace yourself. Yeah, what a zinger. Order up. Okay, I'll talk to him one last time. And finally we have ground cinnamon and soy sauce. Hit me, P. This one's a doozy. Another winner, I believe. This muffin belongs to you. What's happening to my groovy little cephalopoid? Let's jam together. Cephalopod. Not cephalopoid. Welcome to the Wallop Pollop Cafe, home of the finest vintage espresso in all of Castletown. I'm your barista, Rubicam. Rubicam? Say, aren't you a bit too squidlity to be drinking coffee? This spot has the best sun in town, so this is where I tend to Wallapulup Cafe's garden. Uh, I definitely didn't read that right, but anyways, let's go on. Hey there, squishy one. Will you hear an old Oobug's worries? Sure. We collect those crystals we use to control electricity after they rain from the sky. However, they only started falling about a century ago sure are useful, but they worry about our lack of knowledge of their origins. Now, again, all this is optional. You don't have to talk to anybody. The giant encyclopedia we're looking for is titled Grimoire. I'll keep watch to make sure none of Squid, uh, Squid's knights follow you. You're a squip on a, you squip on a head. I am reading terribly today. This is going to be the best Let's Play ever. Squats the Rex. How does Squidlet get in here? You say you're looking for the Encyclopedia Grimoire? Hmm. 
That book is deep in the locked magical section. The problem is, the last time Squid Squad God Emperor went in, she left the gate open. Now seven books have escaped. If you track them down and stop them, I'll open the gate for you. Your ink should blot out the spells on their pages, so they'll stop fluttering about. Now this person you do have to talk to and get this mission. Now you have to find all seven of the magic books, which is relatively easy, but uh, I found when I was trying to do this very quickly that it is somewhat easy to uh, go past where a book might be. So I'll try to make quick work of it. back to the beginning, or at least where I was before. Oh no, that's the guy. I bet I'm gonna have to backtrack. <laughs> Over to the right there was the end, but uh, as you can see, I have two books left to find. There's one. Now this is the point where it's easy to uh, kind of get lost. It's not a, a difficult maze or anything like that. Where's the last book? Up here. No, I definitely went that way already. At this point, I'm willing to bet that it's all the way to the left. No, there he is. Hello, book. Goodbye, book. Hooray. Thank you. Here's the gate key. Be careful. Most books down there are chained uh, to the shelves. But lately, Grimoire has taken a liking to breaking their links. Now you can get muffins by checking those white books on the bookshelf, or at least I think they're books. Maybe it's a muffin. Muffin book. Again, this is a little bit of a maze, but uh, very easy to navigate. I mean, there's only a few dead ends. And that's it. So we have another boss, which is a book. I thought this was kind of interesting. 
So it has four different types of attacks. This bomb. And then there's some bees. And a sword and a magic wand. Whoops. So what you have to do is you have to jump in the book and then what you ink out of this text is uh, will remove that attack from the boss. It's kind of interesting. So I'll read it as I blot it out here. I'll do the bomb first. Bomb. An explosive container of gunpowder. Do not eat. Ink, ink, ink. Ink. Done. So now that attack won't happen. And that's the bees. So just do the... Oh, that's the wand. I'll do the bees next. Bees. Approaching apparitions with branched what? Good on pizza. Branch setting. Is that even English? Goodbye. I want to show off the sword attack, so I'll do that one last. Oh, there was the sword attack, but uh, let's do the wand. Magic tree branch that makes pew pew noises. There's the sword. Really hard to avoid. And I just died. Great. So now I think I have to do it all over again. Yes, I do. So I'll get rid of the sword first. A tool used to make one thing into two things. So normally I like to get rid of the sword and the wand first. Because bomb and bees are relatively easy to avoid. Now you just have to ink it. Done. Marvelous, you found the book. Garbage theory. Elves, come on. Aha, here's the recipe for the potion Squid Squats Brewing. It says here that once completed, it erupts and covers the sky in a dark, protective shell. I don't get it. Why do this? Because the sky is evil? Ooh, darkness. I don't think it matters what you say, but I'll just say because the sky is evil. Why, of course. Wait, come again? Either way, this will blot out all of the light crops. will wither. We must stop her. Aha, here we go. Squidlet ink will sabotage it. Great, you make that stuff. More or less continuously. Let's get you into Squid Squat's alchemy lab. And remember, not a single Squidlet enters my keep. I, Squid Squat, God Emperor, command it. Gotcha, your glorious majesty. Huff, puff. How can you jump the whole way, huff, puff? Whoops, I thought it was done talking. Why do they feed. What do they feed you, huff, puff? Go on without me. I was told to be on the lookout for something called a squidlet. Are you a squidlet? No, maybe. I'll just say no. Okay then. Will you tell me if you see one? Now I can just go past. I think if you answer the other way, uh, the guard will attack you. Now these uh, enemies will follow you, and you have to uh, get them to follow you at certain points, uh, which will become relevant very soon. OK, 
Okay, so here's a switch that you need to step on to open this door. Uh, but what you need to do is bring this guy over to the left and get it to step on that. And there you go. This one is easy enough, you just ink that guy and it stays on the switch. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy to follow you, so... Yep, you do, so I'll do that. Get him to follow you again. Whoops. In the crystal ball, you see something falling from the sky, but you can't make it out. So it's probably a load of hooey. I, Squid Squat, God Emperor, am surprised that Squidlet could get this far. Leave before you ink everything up like you're kind to do. Why you do this? I'm gonna stop you. I uh, don't think it matters what you say, but uh, I'll say why you do this. You see, I gotta do the thing to the thing before the thing. Bah, Squidlet, like you would never be able to understand. I, Squid Squat, God Emperor, will defeat you. Now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get ink in uh, this pot. Now the uh, God Emperor will comment on that, I think maybe if you answer the other thing. Uh, I'm already close to losing, which is okay I guess, but I'll have to do the fight all over again. Ta-da! And that's it! That's pretty much the whole game! Now, the thing that I was hinting at earlier is coming up. Foolish Squidlet. Ah, uh, it's in my eyes. Confound your ink. You'll rue the day you crossed Squid Squat God Emperor. Oh man, that stings. So now you have this thing. Two options and two possible endings. So I'm going to say sorry, hug, and then I'm going to come back and record the other option. Sorry, hug. And go. And go. Oh, you have to press a button. Sniff. Thank you. Here, I have a faster way for you to get home. And that's it. Now you fly around and you can shoot for no particular reason and collect ink. Again, for no particular reason. And that's the whole game. Very short. Is it worth 50 cents? I guess so. I'd say so. It's pretty good. Would have been nice if it was longer. But hey, what are you going to do? I don't regret downloading it.
So it's nice that it lists off the names of all the enemies, so now you know what they're called. And there you go. The end. So now I'll uh, go ahead and run through the whole game again and show off the other ending. So I'll just pause this for a moment and come back. And then I'll tell you exactly how long it took me uh, to get through the entire game speedrunning it. Okay, so I'm here at this guy, and uh, he has ink you, I pay taxes, but I'm a squidlet, so this time I'll say ink you, I pay taxes. No, you don't. Shoo, shoo. Something slightly different. Okay, on to the next thing. Alright, so here we are with another uh, question. Why I do this? And uh, I said because the evil or the sky is evil before, so I'll say ooh darkness. Well, she is nocturnal. Maybe the sun bugs her. Either way, this will blot out all the light. Crops will wither. We must stop her. Aha! Here we go. Squidlet ink will sabotage it. Great, you make that stuff more or less continuously. Let's get you into Squid Squad's alchemy lab. So here's another question, and uh, before I said maybe I was a squidlet, or did I say no? I said no, so I'll say maybe. Aha, for the god emperor, so now I get attacked, and there we go, I get in the door, done. Okay, I just found out something interesting about these uh, lightning shooting things. Uh, you can ink them. And that makes them inactive. Good to know. Okay, so here we are facing the God Emperor again. And last time I said, why you do this? And now I'll say, I must stop you. Ha, ah, what are you gonna do? Ink in my potion? Oh wait, how about ye? So yes, if I answer the other thing, gives me a hint of how to defeat the God Emperor. So I'll just do it again and we can see the other ending. Oh, I forgot, okay, I can turn off the music. I think. Hold on, I can adjust the contrast. This is like the worst time to do this. And I can hide the borders. I thought I could turn off the music. Maybe I can't, maybe I can. I should have uh, shown it off earlier. Ta-da! And there we go again. So this time I'll answer differently. Plan mothballed. Why you little come here? And that's it. It's exactly the same. Now this time I'm just gonna try to avoid ink and see if that makes any difference. It 
probably doesn't. But you never know. If I were making this game and uh, I had ink falling from the sky that uh, turned you black if you collected it, I would make an alternate ending for avoiding all the ink. Oh, and by the way, it took about 22 minutes to finish the game, and that includes stopping to record those little uh, conversations. So, very short game. And what happens? Oh, good job! Hey! It said something different! That's the first time I've seen that. Hooray! Got it on camera. Alright. The end. So, I'm glad I was able to show off this game. It's fun. Um, out of five moose, I, I don't know, maybe three and a half moose. Because it's pretty good, but it's so short. I mean, they could have crammed in at least a few more levels or made uh, inking your enemies have some sort of impact. Um, I mean, scores are kind of outdated. But, uh, anyways, yeah, good game. I liked it. So I'll just go ahead and end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production, and I'll see you next time.